Hey guys, how you doing? Joe and Tripper out here at the fort. It's been about three and a half months since we've been here. Since I've been here, Tripper's never been here before. This is his first time at the fort. This is my favorite time of year to be in the woods, to be building, to be working, to be hanging out, having fun in the woods. So, we're back. I had forgotten how much I built onto the back uh, lateral wall, or up and down wall of it. it. Seems to me all I have to do is really put some decent sides on here and maybe put a tarp or some dry, dried up ferns or something on top. And uh, yeah, she's looking good. So we're gonna spend the day out here. I got some food. I got my hidden woodsman backpack. I got an axe, a saw, my dog. So yeah, let's get let's get started, man. It's a uh, it's a nice day. It's chilly. There's not a breeze. There's tons of tons of colors. Dogs off chasing some birds. This is perfect. Hey, come here, buddy. Hey, good boy. Hey, come here. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, he's a good boy. He's got a little bit of flagging tape on him right now because it's that time of year. But, uh, yeah, just to keep him visible because he blends in. That dog blends in, boy. See his eye? Tripper. He ran into something the other day and scared himself up pretty good. That's just sticks, bro. You okay? <laughs> so I'm just trying to take an inventory of the situation, what I do have to work with and whatnot. I have a few poles here that are nice and straight that I can use. One, two, three, four. There's a couple behind you and a couple, or a couple in front of me, a couple behind the, uh, the camera there. I think what I really want to do right now is just clear everything away from here so I have a good working space, stack my poles, and then start on the sides. Tripper, that's just a plane. You get plenty used to that. <laughs> you got a lot to learn. Bam. I can save all this duffy type stuff for thatching after, but I don't really want it in my way, so it's gonna go over by that tree, by that one tree there. That one tree next to the rock in the forest, you know? Move, move buddy. That's my glove, bro. Today's kind of a special day. Well, it is a very special day. It's, uh, it would have been Scout's 12th birthday today. I always said if I got 12 years out of him, I'd be really happy, and I got about 11 and a half, and I couldn't be happier. I miss that guy a whole lot. Anyways, I'll celebrate his life today. We won't won't be bummed out about it. We'll play around with this mug. This crazy, crazy, crazy dog. Tripper, down. He gets a little hyper. Okay, go. Good boy. <laughs> This is kind of usable, so we'll keep it over in the usable pile. You okay? He 
You good? Again, all this stuff's gonna be useful later on, so I'm just trying to keep it in a pile over out of the way. What you doing? You just digging a hole? Hey? Eh? He also messed up the very end of his nose too. I don't know what he was doing running around outside with the other dogs though. It's a pretty decent hole you got there. Oh my goodness, you're crazy. Well, he busted his leg all up. He was out running around and he heard a yelp and come back and I had to bandage him up, but anyway, that's crazy. Leave it, buddy. Good boy. You can see I have cleaned out quite a bit. Yeah, you can see as I'm walking around, it's pretty lumpy, up and downs, but that's okay. Snow will be here soon enough and it'll all be <laughs> covered again. But we've got, uh, we've got all cleared out now. I feel much better about the space. I've got some bacon and eggs and a bagel to cook up. But I plan on being here out here all day. So I'm just gonna have a little snack, got some water. <sighs> this is a good feeling. This is the feeling I used to have when I was out here with Scout. Not here, but out at Pike Creek down in Windsor with Scout, our spot where we had our shelter, just come out, have some food for the day, have a, have a comfortable spot to be at, and I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to be at the position right now where I'm building the comfortable spot to be at, so there's actually something really to do as opposed to just hanging out. Beautiful day. That's why he's wearing the orange.
Tripper, what are you doing? What are you growling up, buddy? Hey? So all this red cordage will be hidden later on by a tarp or debris or, or both, depending on what I do. So this is some cheap, like, stop digging, stop digging. It's not 550 cord, but trippers, leave it alone. It's a uh, 330 cord or something like that. Almost paracord. Definitely enough for this. <sighs> Can't go nowhere. Well, we're getting somewhere. Warming up too. Getting hungry. But I'll probably work for another hour or so before I cook up any kind of food. I'm going to be hammered back under there a little bit. We've ran out of logs that we've already had around to use. We got a couple bigger logs, but I assume I'll leave use the bigger logs for the other side because I have a few of them left. Uh, here's some of the cutoffs. Um, anyways, there's a tree back there we can cut down, so let's get to that. Uh, it's a nice big dead one. I don't probably need to cut it at all. It'll probably just break off, but I gotta be really careful of the dog. Tripper. Perfect. Couldn't have gone any better. Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Stay there. Timber. Woo, buddy. It's a nice day. Working up some warmth. I'm going to stop and make a fire soon and cook, <laughs> cook up lunch. I wanted to get that one wall finished first, though. Accomplish something. You going to get that? Okay, bro. Must 
do a shepherd thing. My head is hurting me something fierce. I uh, knocked a piece of wood onto it and busted her open pretty good. But anyway, now we're uh, we're all done the wall for today. I've got a nice straight wall. The only gap is here, and I'll show you that in a hot minute. But I want to get some food going. So just clean this stuff up. Anything dry, the other thing I use for firewood, I'm tossing over here. It's looking pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. I do have to do some patchwork, but that's to be expected. Nice. I'm even more secure in there now. Looks good too. Looks really good. Good wall. The only thing that I don't like is right here. Just this little gap. But we'll fix that up. Yeah, that's ugly. We'll get that fixed though. No big deal. Well, considering he already helped himself open up his dog food started eating it like such a good boy like like the good boy he is come on here come on good boy you can have it go on good boy yeah you're good eat it off the ground whatever peasant dog living your peasant life eating off the ground peasant home <laughs> I absolutely hate the way this looks I'm getting rid of this Get rid of that one completely. And we'll figure something else out for that. Maybe I'll knock them all down or maybe I'll leave a little, I don't know, I'll split something and tie it in there. Who knows, but that looks better than the other way. How is that for you? Is that good? Oh, you going back for more? Are you worried about me? People who are worried about his uh, food aggression, but he's got none, obviously, as you can see. He's just, he's just a hungry, a big hungry boy. Down. Tripper down. Look at me. <whistles> Stay. Danger dog.
gonna have to make myself another proper bench. I've had one before, like a bed type thing. But until then, this will definitely do. I might even take a, a shovel or like a, some of the heavy duty and try and flatten out this big slope in here. Because I do imagine I'll have the back wall, uh, the bed along the back wall here, and it'll only come out maybe here or so. But then when people are here, if we have some chairs, we can put them under here still and be protected. So, yeah. Anyways, to put the chairs in here, it'd be nice to have it even. But anyway, until then, something like this will do. So there's a big downhill right here. Prop this up maybe with another one. Comfy. <laughs> now that I come over here, I can see exactly what I should do to fix that. I've just pulled all my food out of my backpack and much to my chagrin, I have forgotten the eggs. So I have a little bit of marble cheese, I got the old bagel and half a pack of bacon. Well, I guess we'll do a bacon cheese bagel Sammy. The eggs are the meat and potatoes of the whole thing, right? The meat and potatoes of the bacon and eggs are the eggs. Womp womp Joe. I left the fire burning like this all contained on, up on top of itself on purpose for cooking because I thought I was going to use my, my frying pan uh, to cook the eggs on. I was going, my plan was to put a little bit of bacon in the frying pan, get some bacon grease on there, then fry up the eggs in the bacon grease and then finish the bacon on the grill because I do like the smoked bacon taste as opposed to the, the grilled a little bit more. But now, now, only bacon. So I guess we'll grill the bacon. I'll just wait a little bit longer till this dies down to coals. Oh, oh. I took them out and everything. I wrapped up two eggs and some paper towels and a little container like I do. But must not have grabbed them when I left the, the house this morning. Oh well. Good thing you uh, you had dog food there, Tripper, because this bacon's a hot commodity now. <laughs>
Took his collar off him. He's not running around anymore. I think he knows the food situation's about to happen. We're both beat up, eh? Banged and bruised up from this, <laughs> this day out, buddy. In all honesty, I think we both need stitches. <laughs> his his uh, bandage that I tied on there is long gone. I tied it on two or three more times, but he's all right. Please don't chew on my glove, okay? No glove chewing, bud. Hey, what the heck? What the heck? Leave it alone, man. This is the grill I've left here. I'm gonna put it down here real quick to heat up and burn off any kind of dank that may be on it. And then I'll set it up on there. It's got these little legs, so it'll be about that high. It'll be good for the bacon. It won't get, uh, even if it flames up, it probably won't reach it. It's actually a cooling rack. I bought it for this specific reason. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. No, it might be a little high. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, change of plans. We're going to put it on down here and then once it starts to get off, out of hand, we'll move it up. And that way it'll be half cooked by that time anyway. It'll be flaming. So we'll want to get out of the flames too. Woo, buddy. Tripper's chasing a bug. You can hear buzzing and Tripper running around. Ooh, it's a little warm. Starting to brown on one side. Good. The only thing that would make this better would be eggs. Right, Tripper? Yep. She's almost all done. It's going to be super smoky and tasty. But I want to get this cheese melted a touch beforehand. Might put some hot bacon on top of it to kind of help it from the top. A little bacon grease ain't going to hurt nothing, right? Ooh, that's a hot one. There we go. That's what we need to be doing. Get another hot one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't you know, Pepper? Okay. Then that bagel's warm, nice and 
nice and crispy. So what I think we'll do, this is what we'll do. Put the bacon down, put the bacon down, put the cheese down. Oh, it's a sweaty cheese, sweaty cheese sandwich. Put the cheese down, put the bacon down, put the bacon down. One more, one more for good measure. And then we have four pieces. I'll obviously give the dog a couple. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The Baconator. Son of Baconator. Yeah, you, you go investigate and I'll eat this. You go investigate the noises in the woods, buddy. This cooling rack grill worked out. Might be the first time I've used it, maybe second time, I'm not sure. Look at that. All my good foods. Trip her down. Good down. I haven't even eaten any of it yet. Whew, that's hot. We'll just let it cool for one second, buddy. Oh, that's smoky. That's super good. Good boy. It's good, right? Man, it's good. This is exactly what Scout and I used to do. Chill this fire worked perfectly for cooking. I only had a couple flare-ups in that system I used with the big logs which didn't catch and the pegs or sorry the legs on the drying rack they didn't burn any of my bacon which is always a plus. She's still smoking smoldering and I could blow that into flames if I wanted to there's no need to but it would be easy to. He's obviously getting better there was a time where I couldn't have done that I wouldn't be able to walk away from the food that's at, at eye level for him he would have mounted up, but he's starting to understand his place. That's pretty darn good. It's missing something. Can't put my finger on it. It's been like three hours since I said I'm going to wait another hour until I eat. Two in the afternoon now. Very comfortable day. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I hadn't been here in, in forever, but I'm glad I'm back and I want to continue to come back and do. Um, frequent videos here more frequent but I still want to do trips trips are my favorite thing to do I'm still gonna get try to get another trip or two in before um, the snow comes I, <clears throat> I'll do a backpacking trip with tripper I'm sure probably the same one that I did and files got lost uh, I got no no news on that by the way but um, files got broken and then they got lost but also I want to do a little tiny canoe trip with my wife um, up to Killarney for two nights. But after that, we'll do, be doing a lot. Oh, and with Doug, I want to do like a little like build a camp with Doug type video. But even once the snow comes, we'll still be making obviously campy videos. I'll come out here, everything will look different. It'll be cool. We still got it. It's only what beginning of October, October 10th. Oh, October 8th, it's Scout's birthday. October 8th. We still got till probably two months before it's like legit snow that's all the time on the ground. It'll, it'll snow in November, but it, it probably won't accumulate too much until December. Mm. Bro, uh, that was very good lunch. This has been bugging me since I got here. So we're gonna trim this up, make it flush with these guys.
what the max that saw can do. No, it's all full of fungus. Leave it alone. Dude, you're so close to that. <laughs> Man, this sweater must have been hanging in the in the bacon smoke because it reeks of bacon. All bacon danky. This is gonna be too wide for this saw. I'm gonna have to cut some of the log out with my ax too. I'm nearly through it. The saw is binding at the top there, so I gotta get my ax and chop some of it down. My OCD is okay now. Dun, 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 dun. Next thing I want to do is cut down some of these tall stumps. Yeah, get it. Yeah, good boy. Get it. Get it. Rip it out. Rip it out, bro. Go. Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, um, the reason these tall these stumps are so tall is because of the snow. So if you remember, if you were watching it, or if you go back and watch it, there was tons of snow when I was building this thing. And I was even stomping the snow down with my snowshoe as much as I could around the bottom of the tree where I could reach to get the most out of the tree because I didn't want to lose any kind of um, useful material. And this is how far I could get it down. So that's a good two and a half, three feet. I guess two, two and a half feet at the most. Um, but yeah, so some of them are good for wood, some of them aren't. I'm gonna get the ones that aren't good for firewood down right now. I can use them for propping things for building. I can store them under there. And if they're good for firewood, I'm just gonna leave them the way they are because dead standing is the best way possible to store firewood. Okay, back up, back up. Watch out, no, it's sharp, move. Move. Oh, tripper. Oh, you found your band-aid, did you? Anyway, now that when the snow comes, there won't, there won't be things jutting out of the ground as, it, as the snow piles. And it, it's unsightly to see it like that, I know it is. So we'll have nice flush to the ground, a little bit up. Yeah, and, and a score of firewood whenever I need it to. Stop doggo. Doggo two four seven. Yeah. This one I'll definitely keep up there. I can, you know what? I can more than likely use this as a, a bench or part part to build a bench. It's nice and sturdy and big around. There's a couple more big, decent sized dead trees right here that I can take down when I need to. Couldn't just leave that <clears throat> like it was. I found a log 
that might be suitable. I'm going to stick it in at the skinny part down, have the fat part go up, and it'll block most of that gap. It still won't be as tight as the rest of it, but it'll be okay. I am going to cover it up still with other things. Okay, anyway, so I got that side down, and I have to dock the other side down too. And then I'm going to wedge it in between the two logs at the bottom and have the fat part at the top. Come here, bud. Come. Good boy. See, see if she works. Ugh. Kick this bottom one out. Yeah, I can. Perfect. Bam, son. Now. Oh yeah. Much better. Still a gap. Nothing like it was though. That's a solid wall, man. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm pleased with that. I'm pretty happy with what I got done today. It was a fun day. It was a very fun day. Well, for next time, I think I'll. I know I'm going to need to put another log on the outside here to stretch my, my distance a little bit more because from that wall to this wall is not going to be that long. It'll be long enough for me to lay down, definitely. But I do want like a foot overhang on either side of me laying down, or at least somewhat, six inches. So maybe I'll put another one here going up and even possibly two, depending on the size of them. Yeah, so if there's, there's two more there coming out to about here, which is pretty good because the support uh, beam is here too and if it came out to that that would, that would be ideal I could use pretend this is the second wall or a second tree as opposed to this tree but two there comes up to about here then this could actually be a part of my wall too my side wall build it down depending on, on where it lands out anyways build the side wall the same as that one then I'll basically have three sides I will have three sides I'll trim up some of these on top here they all need to be a the same length. I might even get rid of some of the shorter ones and get new ones and get them longer so that I can have that awning that I always talked about. Um, yeah, and then we'll need to get a, a drape over it. I'm probably going to buy a cheap tarp, a Canadian Tire Walmart poly tarp, a brown one, and drape it over the whole thing, tuck it in, and uh, make it all neat where it needs to be. And then it'll be my, my three-sided shelter. Then after that, I can add on uh, to the front. I can add a roof, like coming out the whole way. I can add another extra um, lean-to on one side if, for, for company. Although I imagine there'll be two, enough for two beds under here. Um, yeah, just some, some fun stuff to do. I really did enjoy my day out here. It was very fun. Great time of year to be outside. Great weather. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to leave just yet. I might hang out a little bit more. But the majority of my work is done for today. Next time it's going to be a lot more cutting trees down. I had a lot left over this time. A lot of uh, use, usable pieces that I could just cut. But I used most of them up. I do have some. I do have some. I think I will try to make this wall uh, out of a bit larger logs. That way I don't need as many. And it will suit this big uh, post on this side too. Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to end it here. I appreciate you watching. I'm trying to pump out the videos lately. So, uh, 
Yeah, I appreciate all the support, all the views, all, all of the continued support. You guys have a good day. I'll see you very soon on the next video. Goodbye. You want to say goodbye, Tripper? You think if Tripper had a voice, remember Scout's voice was like, Okay, Dad. I think if Tripper had a voice, he'd be like, Yo, what's good? Name's Tripper. <laughs> like to trip stuff. You know, just... Yeah, I think that's what Tripper's voice would be. Just a, just a Chad. Just a... Just a Kyle. You know? A Kyle of a dog. Ha <laughs> ha what's good? Nate's Chipper, yo! Ha <laughs> ha!